question here, then here, and then the mic comes this way. <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, Brian Johnson from McLean's Magazine in Canada. Uh, Michael, uh, I think the vast majority of Canadians would agree with you that they want their universal health care, they want to hang on to it, but I think you would be hard-pressed to find Canadians who would agree that 20 to 40 minutes is sort of a standard waiting time in a Canadian hospital. And I'm, I'm just wondering why you paint the picture so universally rosy in a place like Canada when criticisms like that can undermine, <coughs> undermine the credibility of your film because the average waiting time in Canadian hospital is closer to three, four, sometimes even five hours. Uh, well, that's not true, um, I, I, with all due respect to you being a Canadian. Well, um, it's, it's several hours, let's put it that way. And from personal experience, just last month, four hours for an 89-year-old woman, my mother, on the, uh, you know, very, very, in very dire condition. So, I mean, there's a you lot of... You mean you're telling me it was an emergency and, and you had to wait four hours? So. Well, it was a failure of triage that they didn't catch the emergency. But basically, the waiting times are not 20 to 40 minutes. And why didn't you deal with the fact that in some of these socialized medicine situations, there is, like Canada, there is a crisis in the healthcare system right. because of the, the safety nets uh, being disintegrated? That's right. The, well, first of all, the, the Canadian system, uh, I mean... I know I hear a lot from Canadians about the long lines and, and, and whatever. Uh, the, the specific incident, I'm sorry that happened uh, to your mother, but as you said, they obviously someone made a mistake uh, at the hospital uh, because all the uh, studies have shown with Canadian hospitals, if it's an emergency, if you need help right away, you get the help uh, right away. Um, but the Canadian system, beginning with Mulroney, has been underfunded, and that's the problem. That's been the problem with it uh, for 20-plus years. And uh, it's, there's not a problem, though, with the actual concept of universal health care in Canada. And if you ask most Canadians, and I would ask you, would you be willing to trade your Canadian health insurance card for our health insurance card, what, what, would, that, what would your answer be? No. No. <laughs> that is correct. So, in, That's not the question. No but, no, but in spite of what happened to your mother, uh, you still wouldn't give up uh, what you have. And my point as an American, and I'm looking at Canada through American eyes, um, so again, if I were Canadian, I'd probably complain louder than you just did. Uh, but I'm not. I'm an American saying something's wrong with our system, something is right in Canada. And frankly, the only line that I look, when I look to Canada, the only line that I look at is the long line that you have, because you get to live three years longer than we do. That's the long line that you're in. You're in a longer line than we're in because you get to live three years longer than we do. Why is that? Why do you, why do you, why do you, the French, the Brits, the Western world, uh, have a longer life expectancy? Why is it that a baby born in Toronto has a better chance of making it to its first birthday than a baby born in Detroit? There's, there is something that you're doing right, and I know it's difficult to hear me say these nice things about Canada, and and, uh, and, and I would hope that you're not a country that uh, has a hard time accepting a compliment. But it, it uh, I, 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 I think that. Uh, if we aspired more to the way that you're doing it, we would be better off. Having said that, I recognize that there's flaws uh, in your system, but that's not for me to correct, that's for you to correct and for other Canadians uh, to correct. My, my thinking in traveling around the world and seeing your system, the British system, the Cuban system, the, the French system, is that uh, what we should do as Americans is what we always do, just steal the best things that, that you have of your systems, the, the things you're doing right, and don't do the things you're doing wrong. And just take all the things that each of you are doing right and put it together into one system and call it the American system. Uh, to me, that uh, I'd like to see something like that uh, happen. The French do some things very right, the British do some things very right, and you do some things uh, very right. Um, having said that, those people in that waiting room, in that hospital in London, Ontario, did not lie to me when they said I've waited here for 20 minutes or 40 minutes and that I got care and I got good care and I didn't have to worry about whether or not I had to pay for it. And the one thing about your mother, as opposed to my mother, when she had to go to the hospital, is she didn't have to worry about uh, anything other than getting there because the care would be there. And as the doctor said in the hospital, uh, the man who replaced it, where they put his fingers back on, he never had to worry or think about at any point in time how much is this going to cost and is there a cheaper way of doing this. There is, I think, something barbaric about a system like that. And again, I'm very sorry for what you know what happened um, uh, to your mother there in, in that emergency room. But um, 
But uh, I think when the Canadian government, and unfortunately you have a conservative government now, so it won't be funded properly anytime soon. But uh, as soon as you get back to what the original goal was, I think that it will be a better system.